Okay, so today I tried to make my mochi meat recipe. It's supposed to be like uh, tofurkey but gluten free. And, or like a field roast. I don't know if you ever heard of that brand. It's a, um, they make baked meat. Kind of like tofurkey. But this was supposed to be a substitute for the deli slices that normally you purchase for about four dollars for about 16 ounce box and uh, it's supposed to be gluten free unlike vital wheat gluten used in seitan or traditional baked meat or meatless substitutes so what I did was I cut back on the ingredients that I used in the when I tried to make chocolate brownies the other night and figured you know um, I'd estimate the amount of ingredients that I used last time and also cut back on a few of them such as the egg substitute with the chia seeds instead of using three tablespoons and one half cup of water i used i think it was oh wait not one half cup of, yeah one half cup of water um instead i used two tablespoons of chia seed and three-fourths cup of water that's what it was instead of one cup of water my bad I think Right. I'll have to document this. And I used a half a can, half a eight ounce can of carrots. So that's about half a cup. It was actually 8.25 ounces. So I used half of that and that's almost three quarters of a cup of carrots. I used one eighth of an onion that I diced and then one clove of garlic I put the carrots the garlic clove and the eighth of an onion that I cubed into a mini food processor that I have pureed it uh, with an additional half a cup of baby portobello mushrooms that were you know store purchase pre-rinsed, probably grown in coffee grounds as a substrate. So they're probably soilless and okay to eat right from the container. So I had pureed the carrots, the eighth of an onion and one clove of garlic with half a cup of those baby portobellos with I think half a cup to three quarters of a cup of water I may have used less water or may have used three quarters of a cup of water in the mini food processor to puree it, the vegetables before transferring them to a small saucepan and boiled the vegetables for about five to ten minutes so that the the garlic and the onion would become less uh, My sister's so annoying, I have to hear them talking in the background. 
So the garlic and onion would be less uh, powerful. I don't know how to put it in words, but you know, once you cook it down, it it's not as strong tasting or overpowering. And this was another experiment. So, and what I did was took in a separate mixing bowl, I poured in one cup of the Bob's Red Mill gluten-free, wonderful, all-purpose bread flour mix. One cup of that, uh, I think it was one cup of water or three quarters of a cup of water. I would say a three quarters of a cup of water. Stir it until it's like a pizza dough consistency. And you may have to add a little bit more water, not sure. But it should, you know, uh, stir and dissolve the flour with the water pretty well and not leave any flour behind. So it should be kind of like dough-like at that point. And then what I did was I included an eighth of a cup of soy sauce. I used Sanjay soy sauce. I didn't, I wasn't able to get the wheat-free, gluten-free tamari variety at the supermarket by me, but. And I had poured that one eighth cup of soy sauce over the pizza dough consistency batter or pizza dough like batter and then I also added one tablespoon of unrefined coconut oil uh, instead of shortening stirred it well added one tablespoon of organic tahini and then I included the pureed um, carrots, garlic, and onion half cup mushrooms mixture that's in the saucepan into with the pizza dough like bread batter and then before all that, I had, when it was in the pizza dough-like form, before including the soy sauce, I had included the one chia egg substitute, which was, I think, two tablespoons of ground chia seed. I used the Nutiva Organic pre-ground chia seed comes in as a block BPA free envelope and so I used two tablespoons of that put it in one cup one measuring cup one cup measuring cup and then I I think use one half cup of water to three quarters cup of water stirred it until it becomes kind of like jello but not too diluted just enough to be the um consistency if that's the right jargon for bacon or the um to be able to substitute a egg yolk like one egg yolk type texture and I mix that in with the pizza dough, with the one eighth cup of soy sauce, the pureed vegetables that were boiled for, or maybe sauteed in a saucepan for about, I think it was for about five to 10 minutes. No, no, it was about five minutes over medium high heat. Pour that in with the bread batter. 
so everything was mixed together then I included um, about three quarters of a teaspoon of McCormick peppercorn medley um, that you would grind it comes in something like the sea salt grinder but you know peppercorn medley peppercorn and then that, that is three quarters of a teaspoon about I ground into the batter and I used maybe half a teaspoon of sea salt, all natural sea salt. Stirred it in the batter to give it some seasoning. And then I preheated the oven at 250 degrees for I believe five minutes. And then I placed, I poured the batter onto this parchment paper, lining a standard cookie sheet that would be put in the toaster oven, that type of size, just like this. And then I used a spoon to level it out so that it was about a quarter to a half an inch thick. Put it in the preheated oven at 250 that was preheated for five minutes and raise the temperature to 425 for about I think it was 11 minutes. I did check the time but it rose and so I think because I added the tablespoon of tahini and the soy sauce which has alcohol in it and also the tablespoon of the virgin unrefined coconut oil it rose but I think it had to do with the tahini it made it smell kind of like a sesame um, like those sesame soy sauce crackers kind of it wasn't strong or anything but it started to s resemble that type of smell and plus the black pepper that was ground in there so so it turned out like a fake meat substitute kind of like gardein or tofurkey and I'm going to test it out with some mustard and ketchup. My hand looks terrible.